Hey guys, we're back with some more classes for you guys today. So we're going to start by warming up, then we're gonna stretch and we're gonna get, get into our classes. So make sure that you're in a safe area where you have space to do what we're doing. And if you don't have room to travel or move back and forth whenever we're doing things, you can always just stay in the same spot, okay? So we're gonna to start today by running. We're gonna run for two minutes. All right, so you guys go back to the wall. And you guys are gonna run, turn around, turn back, ready, go. Okay, so two minutes, we're gonna run. And if you have room to run back and forth, you can do that. You can run around your house or run outside. Or if you need to, you can just stay in the same place and run in one spot, okay? Keep running. You don't have to run fast. It's not a race. We're just warming up. Jet, make sure you're staying in your line. Run straight down the line. Straight back down. That's not in your line. Goodness gracious. All right, so I've got Kai over here, and Jet in the middle, and Zeke over here. They're my sons, they're helping me out, because we're not allowed to see anybody else. So if you're at home, hopefully you're with your family and being nice to your brothers and sisters too. Keep going. Jet, stay in your lane. Keep going. You're not tired. You're not tired. You're not tired. Keep going. Be still, put your feet together, take a big breath, and touch your toes. Straight down, touch your toes. Good work. Ah. Feet together. Feet together, lock your knees. You gotta stretch good. Straddle. Feet apart. Straddle, get your feet wide. stretched out. Most of you guys haven't been stretching if you're at home, okay? And middle. Reach down in the middle. Touch both feet. Good. Stand up. Arm circles. Roll your arms around. Stretch those arms out. When you roll them, try to keep them close to your body. Don't let them go really wide. Keep them really close. And then go the other way. Arm circles. Good. And one arm up between your shoulders. Grab your elbow, pull it behind your head, stretch it. Should stretch right here really good. And other arm. Good, and wrists. So everybody go down on your hands and knees. Put your hands flat on the ground. We're gonna rock forwards and backwards and you should feel it hurt right here in the back of your hand or your wrist whenever you rock forwards. And if it doesn't hurt, then scoot them closer to your knees and then rock back and forth. Good, now turn them out to the sides. Again, make sure they stay flat on the ground and rock side. When it tries to pick up, that's when it stretches. Side to side. Turn your hands around so your thumbs are pointing out and your fingers point at your knees. And this one should hurt when you rock backwards. Your hands will want to pick up off the ground to keep them flat on the ground. Good, shake them out and lay on your back. We're gonna do some bridges and tables. So the rules are if you're five years old or younger, you can do a table. But if you're strong enough to do a bridge, you should. If you're um, six or older, you have to do bridges, okay? Because you guys gotta really work on those back flexibility. Ready and push up. Push up. If you guys haven't been doing your bridges at home, you need to start trying to do them a couple times a week. It makes your back flexible, it's gonna help you with Kick over, it's gonna help with back handsprings. It also helps you not get hurt when you fall. Push it up. Good, and come down. Come back to the wall right here. Right there. All right, so uh, again, since 
this is a ninja class and you guys aren't here, you can't do a lot of the obstacles that we have. But we break our obstacles into just a couple of different categories and then you can work on those things when you're at home. So balance things are kind of easy to work on at home. You can go outside, you can walk on a curb, you can walk on like a log or something that's in the flower bed that's long and straight, walk, work on walking on that, okay? There's a lot of jumping obstacles. So again, you can work on jumping, that's easy. The one that's hard is hanging obstacles. So we're gonna do some of those later today. But if you don't have anything to hang on, then those are gonna be something that you just have to work on when you get back to the gym. But for the things that you can work on, make sure you work on them hard just like you are here, okay? All right, so the first thing we're gonna do are some jumps. So we're gonna do straight jumps, put your feet together, hands up, and when you jump, push off your toes. Ready, go, straight jumps. And we're gonna jump forward as far as you can. And when you get to the end, I just want you to jump backwards. So don't turn around, jump backwards. Push off your toes when you jump backwards. Jump in backwards. Good, keep those hands up, Jet. There you go. We're gonna do all these for one minute. So if I don't say stop, then you just keep going, okay? We'll do them again. And if you're in a little bitty area, you just have to stay in one spot and jump up and down, that's okay too. Keep going. Jump it forwards. You're gonna tire. Feet together. Keep your feet together. Jet's galloping. Don't gallop. Keep your feet together. Good, and stop. All right, so now we're gonna do some zigzag jumps. So everybody come over here and get in the line behind Kai. Right there. If you're at home and you have a line, maybe you have a wood floor or you have like carpet or tile, find a line and you're gonna jump. Cross the line, cross the line, cross the line. It's not about going fast. I wanna make sure you're bending your legs, using these muscles up here. And when you jump, you push off your toes, okay? Ready, go, zigzag jump. Slow down a little bit, make sure you're bending and jumping every time. Just bend and jump, bend and jump, bend and jump. Good. Okay, do them back. Feet together, that's not jumping, that's just like running crazy. Come here, right here. You gotta bend, jump, bend, jump. There you go. Good, when you jump, your body needs to try to stay still. You can't throw your head, be all crazy and flailing. Good, now we're gonna do those backwards. So zigzag jumps, backwards. Jump backwards, make sure your feet stay together. Good, jump with your legs and your feet, not with your head. Jump, good, jump, good. You're not going backwards, you're just going sideways. There it is. Use your toes, good pack. Push off your toes when you jump backwards, okay? Feet together, Kai. Does he? Good, all right. This time we're gonna do some frog jumps. You need to go tie your shoe. All right, we're gonna do frog jumps. When we do frog jumps, make sure you go all the way to the ground and when you jump, you push off your legs and push off your toes and go straight to the sky, okay? Don't go down, stand up and then jump. You wanna go down and jump all the way up from the floor. Go see. Go Jet. Frog jump all the way from the ground, using your big muscles on top, using your quadriceps. You say quadriceps? Yep, nice, go. Jump, big jump. Remember, don't jump with your head, just your legs, go. Good, one minute, we're gonna do those again. Frog jumping, frog jumping. Nice, good work. All right, go get a quick drink and come right back. Take one minute and we'll come back and do some tumbling.
we're back from our water break, we're gonna do some tumbling real quick, okay? So if this is your first time doing ninja class, then you probably need to go uh, backwards a few weeks and watch some of the beginner tumbling classes, okay? Uh, if you are somewhere that's on a hard floor, then make sure you're being very careful. And if you can't do things like handstands or cartwheels because you're not in a safe space, then you can substitute those for like a frog jump or something like that, okay? So we're gonna start out with a combination that is a handstand and a forward roll. Okay, handstand roll, handstand roll, handstand roll. You can either do a forward roll or you can do a safety roll. Okay, if you're in ninja classes, you know what safety rolls are, a parkour roll, which roll across your body like a seat belt. Okay, and those are helpful when you're at home because the floor is not padded. All right, so here we go. Do a handstand. Hold it for about three seconds if you can. If not, just make sure you come down under control and then roll. Handstand, roll. We're gonna do these for a minute, so make sure you just keep going. Handstand, and then roll. Good, and if you need to do it in one spot, you can stay in one spot. Okay. Can you do your safety roll where you roll across your shoulder? Remember how to do that? We talked about it. We talked about safety rolls a few weeks ago, okay? So if you need to, go back and watch our first Ninja videos, Ninjas uh, 101 and 201, and they talk about safety rolls, how you roll across your shoulder like a seat belt. You go down to your knee, touch your shoulder, and roll. Safety roll crack. cartwheels. So the main difference on a cartwheel and a handstand is on a handstand your hands go straight in front and on a cartwheel they go over to the side. You're still going to have your dominant leg or your lunge leg in the front, okay, but instead of going straight down like a handstand, your hands go to the same side as your foot. Ready and go. Cartwheels. Good job. Cartwheels. If cartwheels are easy, remember you can always modify it. Do alternating cartwheels or do one-handed cartwheels. Make it challenging for you. Jet, wait for Kai to get down here. So don't start coming back until he gets all the way to the end. And when he gets to the end, he's going to tie his shoe again. Some of you might need to go find another YouTube channel and do some shoe tying exercises. Go Jet, cartwheels. His hair is getting kind of crazy, so I cut it this morning. Me and Kai's hair is still crazy, and we don't really know how to cut that, so I'm sure some of you guys have crazy hair. Raise your hand if you have crazy hair at home. Anybody? Yeah? You do? Jude? Jude hold it? You got crazy hair at home? You do? Good. All right. Here we go. Now we're going to do some power hurdle cartwheels if you have space. Remember, power hurdle is instead of running, you bend, jump, and step. Ready, go. Good job. Make sure when you power hurl, you don't do this. Your arms need to be up and straight, so when they go to the ground, they're already straight. Go run so far, bud. Power, bend, jump. Jed doesn't know how to do power hurl, so he's just running. That's fine, keep going. Okay, 
Now, Jet, come over here. Ready? Jet, turn this way. Now you do a handstand. Handstand. Okay? So Jets just go up and come down. There's never a moment when they stop in the air and he's under control. Watch, do it again, Jet. So that was a cartwheel, okay? So his handstand is still out of control, and that's fine because he's littler than the other two, okay? So if your handstand is still out of control, then you need to just keep working on your handstands and not walk, worry about handstand walking just yet. All right, Z, come up here. Jet, go back to the wall. All right, so now Z has a control. Zeke has a good control handstand, so he's gonna go up, count to three, and then come down under control. Go. So he's squeezing, he's controlling, and then he comes down. When your handstand looks like this, you know it's time for you to start traveling or start walking, okay? So if your handstand is still kind of crazy, then just work on your handstands. If your handstand is like Malachi's, then do it, take three little steps, maybe you can get mom and dad to help hold your feet just a little bit, and then come down, okay? But you don't want people just to pick you up and hold your feet and walk along, that's like a wheelbarrow, and that's not gonna help you, okay? So make sure your handstand is good first, all right? Go right back to the wall. Ready? Try to get in the middle line. All right, so Jet is gonna do handstand and then a roll, handstand and then a roll. Kai's going to do handstand, little baby steps, and he's going to try to go as far as he can. Okay, so do whichever level you are at home. Do the same thing they're doing. Okay, ready, and go. The key is coming down under control. Try to come back down to your feet. Some of you guys might be used to rolling out of them. But if you're at home, that's not the safest way. Coming back down on your feet is the safest way. So do those. Good. Whenever you run out of room, just turn around and go back. back from your break, uh, we're going to work on something called push-up box jumps, okay? We've done a lot of push-ups over this break because that's an easy way to keep your arms and shoulders and chest strong uh, while you're not here at the gym. And we've done a lot of jumping because jumping is a good way to keep your, your leg muscles strong, okay? So we're going to kind of put those together, all right? So I've got three kids here with three different levels, okay? So their jets is pretty low, Zeke's is kind of high. So your job is gonna to be to find something that's a good height for you that is also safe, okay? Don't jump up on a coffee table if it's gonna tip over and throw you. Uh, this is also something you might have to wait and go do outside after you watch the video, okay? So, whenever you come up to a box like this or say it's a step or it might be a log or something like that, you're gonna put your hands close to the edge and when you do your push-up, I want your chest to touch it, not your face, and then push up. Okay? Now, since that is an elevated surface, it actually takes a little bit of the weight off. So if you can usually only do like 10 push-ups, this is gonna let you do like 15 or 20, okay? 
the higher the object is, it actually makes it a little bit easier for you to do the push-ups, okay? The box jump, on the other hand, the higher it is, it's gonna be harder to jump up on, okay? So here we go. They're gonna do three push-ups first. Ready, go. Three push-ups. Make sure that your chest is touching when you go down nice and easy, okay? Bend in our arms, and then jump up on top three times. There you go. And after you've jumped three times, do it again. Back down for your push-ups. Now, Jeff, make sure that you are bending your arms. Bend your arms like this. Now push up. Bend and push. There you go. Bend and push. Good, and then jump up there. So we're gonna do these for like five minutes, okay? So they're gonna keep going for a minute. If you guys are watching Jet's push-ups, he kinda looks like a worm. His knees go down, then his arms go down, then his arms come up, then his knees come up. You don't want that. You want everything to stay flat. That needs to all go up and down at the same time, okay? Keep going. Tired yet? Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going, Kai, come on. Kai, now you're doing the work. There's no worms here. Let's go, push up strong. Push up. There you go, go. Good, good. Push it up. Form is more important than speed in most exercises. If you don't have the right form, then you're not working the right muscles or you're using too many muscles and you should focus on some. So like whenever we do push-ups, your stomach needs to be squeezed, your bottom needs to be squeezed, and you're just pushing with your arms and you should feel it in your chest muscles when they squeeze together too, okay? Keep going. Keep going. So if you're gonna do these later outside, I want you to do them for five minutes. That's gonna be the magic time, okay? And good, all right. You guys push your mats up there to the front. The next thing we're gonna work on are some dips, okay? So for those of you that are in uh, boys gymnastics on parallel bars, we, we need a lot of dips because we need a lot of this strength, okay? So you're gonna need three chairs. Okay, or maybe a couch or something else, but we're gonna use three chairs. So like three kitchen table chairs would be really great. So if you need to go get those, go get those. All right, so we've got our three chairs. Okay, you've got one on each side and make sure you put it up against a wall or a couch or something so it doesn't slide out from under you, okay? So the two on the sides need to be wider than your body so your body can go in between them. And then the one in front, you're gonna put your feet on, okay? So Zeke is going to put his feet on the front chair and his hands on the side chair and he's gonna do 10 dips. So when you do a dip, you go as low as you can and then you push it back up, okay? He's gonna do that 10 times, hands, Go as low as you can, push it back up. You should use these muscles right here. You should use your triceps. Keep going. Good. What number you on? Seven, all right. He's on seven. Now, we're gonna alternate these with handstands on the wall, because those work some different muscles, okay? So once you get to 10, you're gonna need to find a wall that you can do your handstands on. 10. All right, so over to the wall. Hands down. Walk your feet up the wall. Right there. Okay? Once you get up there, you're going to hold it for one minute if you can. Don't forget to breathe. Squeeze your shoulders. Hold it strong. All right, Kai's turn. Kai, you go to the chairs. 10 dips. Come down, take a break for just a second. Five minutes to do 10. 10 dips. Good work. So for my boys team at home, you guys need to be doing these because we gotta have those triceps strong when you guys come back, okay?
We're going to do it three times through this rotation. So in a second, I'm going to take this video and I'm going to like speed it up really fast. But you need to make sure that you pause it and do these three times. So 10 dips and then one minute of handstands all the way through three times. creative to do those dips, okay? Your feet need to be out straight, right? Make sure that you're pushing your hips. I push your hips forward, like on mushroom. Whenever we push our hips forward on our mushroom, try to keep our body line straight. You might need a partner to hold your chair. Make sure it doesn't slide out of the way. All right, we're moving into our last rotation. Still working hard, keep your form, push your hips up. Try to keep, get as low as you can whenever you do those dips. On your handstands, try to make your body line straight too. working. Keep it going. Dips. Handstands. So uh, you probably don't have a balance beam at home, but you probably do have a curb outside on your house. Um, you probably have a line somewhere in your house that you can play on, okay? So just find that, and if you don't have anybody there, then you can just play by yourself with us, or if you have brothers or sisters or friends, then you can play with them too, okay? So we have three people. We have one balance beam, one line, and we're going to have one person telling the other ones what to do. And the rule is, when you fall off, the other person gets a turn, okay? So this is called forwards, backwards, jump, okay? So I'm going to tell them what to do. Kai, you just wait a second, okay? So Jet and Zeke are going to walk, and they're going to go forwards, backwards, or jump when I say to do that, okay? Here we go. Ready? Go forwards, backwards, jump. Okay, so forwards, backwards, and jump. All right, so everybody see how that works? All right, so now I want you to go as fast as you can with staying under control, okay? Here we go. Ready, go, backwards, and forwards, backwards. Good, all right, so we're gonna switch people. So now, uh, Kai's gonna go on the balance beam, right there. Jet's gonna stand on the blue line, he's gonna go over there, and now Jet's gonna tell him what to do. So Jet, you say forwards, backwards, or jump, whenever you want him to do it. Ready, go. For those of you at home, Z, now you guys stay on the line. You're going not on the line. Oh, he fell off, so now Jed, it's your turn. You get on top of me. Yep, Zeke's in the middle. Kai, you're over on the black line. So those of you at home, make sure you're playing forward, backwards, jump. Working on your balance. Arms out to the side, squeeze your tummy. Jump. Forward, backwards, jump. Backwards, 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 backwards,
Oh, just down. All right, switch places again. Now Kai is the caller. If you're doing it on a line at home, you've got to make sure that you stay on the line. Your feet can't go off of the line. Your feet are going off the line. Good. All right, so you guys can play this game for as long as you want, okay? Make sure that you guys are working hard. Make sure you're doing things that keep you active, keep you flexible, and to make yourself strong, okay? We'll send you guys another video in a couple days. Keep working. Go back and watch the old ones. Find which one is your favorite. If there's something that you really enjoy or you're really good at, then shoot a video of it or take a picture and send it to us on Facebook, okay? All right, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.